Well hi folks, this is Stratman from pipweaver.com uh, There's been a little bit of talk on my forum about using Linux for trading Forex and I'm going to go through a series of videos here to give you all the basics of getting set up for that. Um, the, the goal of this is to be able to have a system running with uh, MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and a few other tools like being able to take snapshots of your screen and post into forums and, and so on. I uh, may even show you how to install Microsoft Office on on uh, Linux as well. Right, first thing you need to do is choose a Linux distribution. I've chosen here Ubuntu. Um, I'm going to put all the links to all these pages like this uh, on the thread where I uh, display these videos. But the first um, thing, if we go to this this website here to get Ubuntu is we've got to make a choice whether we're going to have a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. If you don't really understand what that is uh, or what that means, um, probably do as they've recommended here for most users, use 32-bit. The, the real thing here is that a 64-bit operating system uh, makes use of of the, the higher performance capabilities of a 64-bit processor and in theory uh, your operating system should run a little bit quicker and uh, access larger amounts of memory and, and a few other other benefits. But the f but you need to be able to determine whether your processor in the first place is 32-bit or 64-bit. So one way of doing that is uh, Microsoft have written a little thing here about determining whether you've got a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system on your Windows XP. Um, but in theory, this particular thing here, Win MSD, will show you whether you've with your processors x86 or x64. So when we run WinMSD.exe, we end up with this window coming up. And as you can tell on my computer, I'm, I've got a x86 family 6 processor. Uh, what we're Wanting to see there is if it's a 64-bit processor, you should see x64 or ia64 or something like that written there. If you don't see anything with the word 60 uh, with the number 64 in there, um, and it just says x86 or something like that, you've only got a 32-bit processor, so do not download the 64-bit operating system. If you see x64 there, you can choose to download the 64-bit or the 32-bit. Um, for the general user, downloading the 32-bit and installing it on a 64-bit system is probably not going to mean a heck of a lot. So anyway, there's your choice. Uh, so let's go back to the the uh, website and have a look at downloading. So in my case, I've got an x86, so I'm going to download the 32-bit version. So it's just a simple case of clicking the download and our download should get started. I'm going to save that to my documents downloads and off we go we've got uh, it downloading and I'll come back to you in a minute when that's finished downloading. Okay and uh, I've got it downloaded um, quite a large image 700 um, meg there. Uh, it's going to fit on a, a CD. So next step is to get it into onto some installation media. Uh, the way we do this is if we go back and have a look at the website, we go down a little bit. Step two: burn your CD or create a USB stick. Well, I'm going to create a CD, and it's on Windows. So there's a little link here to show how. So we'll go to the Show Me How and uh, see how that's done. And the recommendation is to use Infra Recorder, which is a nice um, package. To uh, it's open source, it's free, and it will burn our ISO image onto a CD for us. So I'm going to go ahead and download Infra Recorder and install that on my system. And here's Infra Recorder. And we just want to cruise down to the download section there on that page. And we need to find the right one for our system. Um, for me, I'm running one of these, so I'm just going to download this installer here. And again, um, just save that into my uh, directory. 
if it doesn't start automatically this download you can you can click the link for me um, I've got the little yellow bar come up so click that I'm going to download it and there we go and I'm going to save it into my downloads directory as well so I'll just pop that up there and say save and when that's done we will install infra recorder so the instructions after we've downloaded it we insert a blank CD gives you all the instructions on what to do here um, it's it's very good uh, this this whole whole thing on um, how to set up your installation CD so I've just installed in for a quarter I'm so I'm just going to open it and there it is there I'm going to uh, burn my CD so my CDs in my CD drive are uh, going to write an image if I click write image my downloads direct go to your downloads directory or wherever it is find your file um, that's my file I'm just going to going to choose the defaults here and just burn that image onto my CD and uh, we'll see what see that when it finishes and there's my CD finishing just um, closing off it's popped out of the drawer here we go so I've got a CD all ready to go to install my Ubuntu Linux and then to install all the other bits and pieces we need um, next thing we're going to go on to is the whole installation area which is the try it install it so um, you can actually try it on a CD first or you can install it so I'll show you running it up as a live CD um, so that means testing out Linux without installing it and um, and then I'll take you through installing uh, Linux okay we'll catch you on the next video